I've been waiting for this day for so long. The brand new for 2019 TaylorMade P790s. Let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and if this is your first time watching my channel, first of all welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. Today we are reviewing the brand new 2019 TaylorMade P790 irons. But just before we do, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go down to the bottom of the screen and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. If you do enjoy the content, do me a favor and leave a like. That helps me and it also helps me know that you're enjoying the content. And as always, I want you guys to be a part of my videos. I want you to comment below what do we think to the brand new TaylorMade P790 irons? Let's get back to the video. So as you can see from a close-up of these irons, in comparison to last year's P790, there's not a lot of difference. And this is exactly what I've been waiting so long for. I've been waiting so long for a golf brand to say, yes, hold the hands up, these clubs are fantastic, they're brilliant. These were TaylorMade's best-selling irons last year, and I'm led to believe they've been the best-selling irons for a long, long time. And TaylorMade have basically come out and said, well, we couldn't really make it that much better. Yes, we've made a few improvements under the hood, of which I'm gonna talk you through in this video, and they've also made a few little aesthetic changes, which to me have made the best looking club of last year look even better. So if we do compare this year's to last year's P790, as you can see on the screen now, there's not a huge difference. We've gone for more of a chrome finish as opposed to the brushed steel finish on last year's model, and I really like that. I'm a big fan of kind of chrome, I'm a big fan of shiny things basically, and especially on the sole, you can see how they've really buffed that up and it looks pretty good. We've also ditched a huge tailor-made writing on the toe, that's now been replaced with just a tailor-made stamp, a tailor-made logo. That's designed to make the club look a little bit more simple, a little bit more minimalist, and to me, I think it looks great. In today's video, I have the 4-iron, the 6-iron, the 8-iron, and the pitching wedge, and the lofts on these clubs are 21 degrees for the 4-iron, 26 and a half degrees for the 6-iron, 35 degrees for the 8-iron, and 45 degrees for the pitching wedge. Now, strong lofts in these clubs aren't anything new. We knew they were gonna be strong lofted. Last year's P790s were strong lofted, and these are the same. Now, TaylorMade's big thing with this, TaylorMade's big push, is the irons that you never thought you could play. You see, these things look beautiful. They look so simplistic, they look so brushed off. They just, they basically look like players clubs, like blades. And that's what people found. So last year, Taylor Nable marketing the mid handicap with this range, but they found that actually quite a lot of low handicaps use them and also quite a lot of high handicap use them as well. Guys, hit those comments below if you are using TaylorMade P790s at the moment and let me know what handicap you are. This is gonna be pretty interesting. The clubs still feel fantastic, they still feel really forgiving. I've just hit that eight iron really healy, as hopefully you can see on the club face there, and it's still gone 166 yards, it's still been a nice trajectory, and it's still a pretty nice shot. And then you absolutely rip one and it goes miles further. This was one of my worries with the P790 last year. Sometimes you get a shot that just keeps going and 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 going. But I guess these clubs aren't really designed for me. I'm really looking forward to getting these clubs in the hands of our mid-handicap tester, Mark. Mark really enjoyed last year's P790s and I can see no reason why I wouldn't enjoy this year's P790s. So if you want to see that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The irons still feature speed foam technology which is designed to give you more ball speed and better distance even off off center hits.
I can't believe how soft these things feel for the amount of technology that's in them. As you move up through the mid irons into the longer irons, 7.9 and above, you still see the speed pocket which was in there last year, which was so successful in again helping people maintain ball speed and maintain distance even off off center hits. To me, it really was no surprise that these irons did so well last time around. And I do expect them to do pretty well this time around as well. That felt ridiculous. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, well, if they were that good last time and they've not really changed that much and they've just changed the looks a little bit and a few things under the hood, to which we will come to in a few minutes, then why didn't they just leave them alone? Why didn't they just keep them running? You see, for me, if you bought these irons two years ago when they came out, maybe even just over two years ago, they're gonna start to get a little bit worn now. Now, most people do change their irons every five years. So TaylorMade aren't expecting people to jump out of the old P790s necessarily into these ones. Unless you're like me, unless you like something shiny. You've had them two years in the bag, you don't wear iron head covers because why would you? And you've just got that annual golf budget that you put to one side that's burning a massive hole in your pocket. Wow, that was a terrible strike. Oh, what was that? I was just thinking about a golf budget burning a hole in your pocket for some reason there, but... So we have spoken about what's the same in these irons, what's not changed, we've still got speed foam, we've still got speed pocket, we've still got all that technology in there. Now let's talk differences. There we go. A lot of people last year wondered exactly what this little screw was here and people were thinking, are these irons gonna be adjustable? And the answer to that was obviously no. As you can see here, that weight has moved down. This is the tungsten weighting. This tungsten weighting is now much lower in the head. And the idea behind that is that a lower CG will help a higher launch. Other slight changes in these clubs include ICT, which isn't a GCSE class that you would go and sit at high school. It's inverted cone technology. The idea behind this is that each club, each different iron, each different lofted iron has different technology in the head, different inverted speed foam, which is located strategically, try saying that, which is located located strategically differently in each club to provide different numbers, different forgiveness for exactly what you would need out of that iron. And I'll tell you now, that word strategically had about 10 outtakes in there, so I'm sorry if I still didn't get it right. So guys, let's finish off on a few four irons and then let's take a look at the numbers for the 2019 P790s. Stop. They can't go in the bag. They can't. They're not for you. Maybe they can. Maybe they can. You see, for me, the last generation P790, I have kept calling the last year's P790 in this video, and they're not really last year's, they're the last generation because they're now a couple of years old. But for me, the last generation P790 came out before I started YouTube when I was still coaching kind of every day, all day for the entirety of my life and then playing very little golf. And the thing that I actually said to a lot of people was, I'm just gonna go and buy some P790s. They look great, they feel great, they go a long way, they're mega forgiving. I never got around to that because then I got into the YouTube, I started practicing more, playing more, and now I'm very happy with some kind of smaller irons, but. But I guess that's exactly what these irons are all about. They're all about people who maybe wouldn't use game improvement irons, wouldn't use mid handicap irons, wouldn't use these irons that are kind of really strong lofted. And if I've thought that, there's no doubt that other pros up and down the country have thought that. Guys, who here is a professional or kind of a category one handicapper using P790 irons? Because that was very nearly me and I would still use them today. Because down at the ball, they still look absolutely fantastic. That was always gonna happen, wasn't it? But then you still had the mid handicappers, the high handicappers, the really high handicappers, the lady golfers. So many people are using these irons. So many people still want to use these irons. Whenever people come in for club fittings here at Huddersfield Golf Club, we always show them the P790, no matter what handicap they are, because they're just that good. They're just that. At the time, they were almost kind of revolutionary. Now we have the Ping i500, we have the Mizuno 919 JPX Hot Metal Pro, which you still kind of see how all these clubs now are in a bracket of their own. Now, just before we take a look at the numbers, guys, TaylorMade are also releasing a P790T 
Ti or Ti or Titanium. Now this is going to be a more expensive iron, it's going to have a lot more technology in it, it's going to be in the bracket of PXG, in the bracket of the Callaway Epic Forged, in the bracket of all these more expensive irons, these premium irons. TaylorMade aren't releasing these till later on, but they have told us about them. They want everyone to know that they're coming. They don't want people to jump into the P790 and then a couple of months later think, well, I never had the option of buying these more expensive irons, these better irons, these irons with more technology in them. So if you are thinking about moving into the new P790 and you do have a bigger budget, maybe hang fire, maybe have a look at the P790 ties. And also we have this brand new P790 UDI iron, which looks absolutely gorgeous. I will be doing a separate video on this because because look at it but for now let's take a look at the numbers for the 2019 tailor-made p790s tailor-made p790 irons distances 215 yards with the four iron 195 yards these are all on average by the way with the six iron 168 average with the eight iron and 142 with the pitching wedge now they're not bad gaps they're not terrible are they if you think about it so if you think the five iron in between there might go about 205 that leaves you a nice 10 yard gap seven i might go in there around 180 yards ish that kind of gives you a nice kind of 10 to 15 yard gap and then the nine iron might go in there at about 155 and that again is giving you a pretty decent gap now ball speeds with these clubs are mental they're producing serious ball speed here and spin rates which are always going to be quite worrying so as you can see 3,800 with the four iron, which is pretty bob on, but then as you get to the six iron here, 4,299, that's mega low for a six iron. 5,206 is silly low with an eight iron, and 6,277, again, is just very, very low for a pitching wedge. So what we would need here is a very, very good peak height. And as you can see, they're all over 100. They're all decent peak height in feet. Now, this is something which I've looked into a lot more since doing the Callaway Epic Forged Iron. So I'm going to be running the PJ Tour averages for peak height down here now. And yes, you do need some decent club edge speed, some decent ball speed in order to get that peak height. But for me, that's where a good fitting comes in. That's where getting the right shaft comes in so you can deliver the club as quickly as possible. You can get the best ball speed as possible. And hopefully together with whatever spin rate that club produces, that is going to help the ball climb. Then because it's a lot higher, it's going to land a lot more vertically and it is going to vertically, horizontally, yeah. And because it's falling from such a greater height, it's going to land a little bit softer and give you that control. Guys, what do we think to these brand new sort of tailor-made P790 irons? I'm so glad that a manufacturer has finally, finally said these things are good. We're not going to go gung-ho. We're not going to change them. We're not going to change them massively. We're just going to tweak them. We're going to make them look a little bit better. In my opinion, they have made them look better. They've made them look sleeker. There's not as much writing on them. They're a nicer colour. They look a little bit kind of sleeker down at the golf ball, in my opinion. And I mean, I could use these things, no problem. For me, the, you do get that odd one that just kind of keeps going. It drop, the spin drops off it massively and you do kind of get found out that way. That's why I don't use clubs like this. That's why I use my Mizuno JPX 919 Tours, which are a little bit, well, a lot weaker lofted. For a player of my ability, it is a little bit easier to control. If you're a mid handicapper, if you're a high handicapper, if you're a low handicapper, you're in the market for a new set of irons. There is a reason why these things were the best selling irons last year. When people came for fittings last year, they just flew out. They did so well, they performed so well. People were finding gains of kind of two, three clubs. If you are looking for more distance, I can't really recommend these things enough, but then Callaway have some great clubs out. Mizuno have some great clubs out. Titleist have got some great clubs out. So make sure you go and test the entire market. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that as much as I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed hitting these. Make sure you stay tuned for the UDI review. Make sure you stay tuned for the TaylorMade P790 TI review because I'm going to get my hands on them. They will be coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned for those. As always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you haven't already, come on, guys. Why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Let's get to 100,000 by the end of the year. That is the goal. Leave a like if you've enjoyed that content. Don't dislike it because you don't like the product because... It just, it just makes sense to me and a lot of people tend to do that but make sure you hit the comments below and let me know what you think and as always i'll see you tomorrow